few individuals want their excessive obesity to be publicized, but every now and then a fresh story emerges when someone seeks care for what is a very serious medical issue. Today we look at people who have surmounted incredible odds regarding their weight, some better than others. If you want to witness people who have had to use every rule in the book to lose weight, you will want to see this as we count down 15 heaviest individuals on the planet. Number 15. Arya Pamana A boy who was formerly known as the world's fattest child has lost an incredible 238 pounds in just four years. Adi Rai, an Indonesian bodybuilder and the personal trainer of Arya Pamana, released the photos of the now 14-year-old on the internet. Are also shared a video of Arya when he first met him in 2016, when he was only 10 years old and weighed 420 pounds. Are helped him by informing his parents about the significance of eating healthy and motivating them to support Arya. Arya has become a symbol of optimism for the future. People think that if Arya can lose weight, they can too. Arya's weight loss has been aided by exercise, but he's also undergone bariatric surgery to shrink the size of his stomach and restrict his hunger. The surgery combined with exercise and healthy diet resulted in a significant weight decrease, going from nearly 330 pounds to 191 pounds. Surgeons following Arya's case believe he'll need surgery to remove excess skin from his arms, chest, and stomach, which will help him to lose even more weight. According to his parents, Arya was born at a typical weight of 8 pounds and maintained it for most of his childhood. However, when he turned 8 in 2014, the issue began to spiral out of control and his appetite abruptly surged. He gained an amazing 112 pounds in just two years, making him the world's fattest youngster at 420 pounds. Indonesian officials stepped in to assist him after his case gained international notice. Number 14. Drew Stewart Many of us have become addicted to reality television shows promoting drastic weight loss. Drew Stewart experienced it firsthand. Stewart and his two cousins, Naomi and Chitoka, used to be over 2,000 pounds collectively. They were featured on TLC's Family by the Ton, which followed their journeys through their weight loss surgery. Stewart weighed 673 pounds when he started, and he shed 175 pounds so far. Stuart wasn't aware he had a weight problem until a long-time buddy pointed it out to him, despite the fact he weighed over 600 pounds. Stuart hadn't seen his friend in 10 years, and when he did, his friend questioned Stuart if he'd given up on life. Stuart was taken aback by this. When he looked in the mirror, he realized his out-of-control portions, sugary drinks, and the fact that he had scarcely left the house had all mounted up without his knowledge. He'd virtually given up on himself. Stuart's first visit to the doctor didn't go as planned. He was diagnosed with sleep apnea, hypertension, and diabetes, with the latter two conditions requiring medication. His doctor also informed him that he would have to wait six months for surgery, and that he would have to shed at least 50 pounds during that period. Stuart's six-month surgery preparation included a full nutrition overhaul and the addition of exercise to his regular routine. He spoke with a nutritionist who helped him understand how to regulate his quantities and what meals he should eat. He worked his way up to being able to walk a mile and a half in six months. Stuart lost 50 pounds in six months and was shortly on his way to have gastric bypass surgery. Stuart's biggest wake-up call came three months after his surgery when he went in for a checkup with his doctor. He performed blood testing and removed him from his diabetes and hypertension meds. He was ecstatic because the procedure had accomplished something. Stuart has learned the value of hard effort and dedication because of his experience. He discovered that whatever you put into something is what you will receive out of it. If you do something half-assed, you'll get half-assed results. And if you go hard, you'll see the results. Number 13. Chitoka Light After undergoing weight loss surgery, a dangerously obese woman who weighed about 680 pounds was able to lose almost 100 pounds. Chitoka Light, 49, who starred in the TLC reality show Family by the Ton, was terrified to have the procedure after learning about the medical and emotional hazards. Chitoka, who has previously described herself as being encased in a flesh prison, was only approved as a candidate for the treatment after she began training with a trainer and was able to get out of bed and walk. This operation means liberation, 
something she hasn't felt in a long time. For the first time in years, she added, it had allowed her the freedom to be alone in her house without requiring assistance. Chitoka and her cousins Drew and Naomi weighed a combined 2,000 pounds when the show initially aired, but they all vowed to change their lives for the better by losing weight. Chitoka had been bedridden for three years and hadn't left her house until she began working with a personal trainer. After walking out of her house, getting into a car and driving to the hospital to meet her bariatric surgeon, Dr. Proctor, she was finally cleared for weight loss surgery. Chitoka has come a long way, but today marks the start of the next phase of her life. The real labor begins now. This entire time seems like she was ascending a mountain. Each member of the family served as a distinct stepping stone on the way to the top. Number 12. Octavia Gahagans Season 7 of My 600 Pound Life got off to a good start with Octavia Gahagans. Before traveling to Houston to work with Dr. Nauzardan, the Kansas City native had been bedridden for a year. Octavia's weight loss quest began with a bang as she shed a third of her body weight in the first year. It appears like Octavia's life is still going smoothly. There are no other words for it. Octavia had no idea what her weight was when she started her weight loss journey. She hadn't been able to step on a scale in years due to physical limitations. It was a simple decision for her to go to Houston and kickstart her weight loss. Octavia required the assistance of her entire family in packing. It was time for the moment of truth once she arrived in Houston and at Dr. Now's offices. Octavia became serious about losing weight after learning she had reached her top weight of 692 pounds. Octavia's weight began to plummet and she was swiftly approved for gastric bypass surgery. The 42-year-old had shed a total of 236 pounds by the end of her first episode. Octavia is still winning battles on her journey for health these days. As a result, Octavia does not frequently share information on social media. She keeps the specifics of her recent weight loss accomplishments to herself. Number 11. Juan Pedro Franco Salas Juan Pedro Franco Salas made international news in 2016 when he was admitted to a hospital for life-saving treatment. He was initially estimated to weigh 1,105 pounds, but he tipped the scales at 1,311 pounds the equivalent of roughly 10 typical adult men. He had been morbidly obese since childhood, and his condition had been compounded by an injury he sustained when he was 17 years old. His body simply took its own path, oblivious to his control. Day after day, he tried to diet, but nothing worked, and he became frantic. Juan Pedro, a talented guitarist, enjoyed singing classic Mexican melodies. He had two or three girlfriends, and was a good Cumbria dancer, but his weight gradually rendered him immobile, and he became a prisoner in his own home. For the first time in seven years, the 32-year-old left his bedroom two years ago to receive life-saving therapy in a hospital. He had type 2 diabetes, thyroid problems, hypertension, and liquid in his lungs, among other things. Franco had lost 374 pounds by May 2017, about the weight of two kangaroos, and was able to undergo gastric bypass surgery. He began a new food and fitness regimen after his gastric bypass surgery, and by the time he appeared in the Guinness Book of World Records 2019, he had lost a third of his body weight. He continued to lose weight, reaching 670 pounds with the help of a team of 30 health professionals. Number 10. Charity Pierce Charity Pierce began her adventure as one of the world's heaviest women. She was in a low place and expressed her desperation by declaring that she would rather die than live like this. Pierce weighed approximately 800 pounds, had flesh-eating germs, and couldn't do basic things without the assistance of her family. Pierce was concerned about her daughter Charlie's rising obesity problem while striving to drop an inconceivable amount of weight. Pierce's mother died in the meantime, and her fiancé cheated on her with her own sister. Charity Pierce's journey was, overall, one of the most difficult. Pierce shed nearly 400 pounds with the help of Dr. Nauzaradan and gastric bypass surgery. She was diagnosed with kidney cancer in 2020. It broke her heart because her mother had died of brain cancer. Her kidney had to be removed as quickly as possible to prevent the cancer from spreading. Her kidney was removed after she underwent surgery. She's still resting at home and attempting to heal. She just hopes the future holds something nice for her, and she intends to stick to her new way of life. 
Number 9. Phil David David went from losing all his weight in two years and becoming a well-known personal trainer to regaining it in just a few years. Losing weight is more than a one-step process. There's the initial weight loss, and then there's the more difficult task of keeping the weight off. It's a stage that many individuals overlook when pursuing a health goal. Take, for example, Phil David, who is 43 years old. Over the course of two years, David lost an astonishing 400 pounds. He went on to work as a personal trainer and was the subject of a documentary about his extraordinary weight loss journey during the years when he was at his lowest weight. However, soon after filming ended, he reverted to his old behaviors, reignited his food addiction, and he found himself back to square one. His eating addiction has now taken over his entire existence. He's not only embarrassed to walk outside, but he's also terrified of losing his footing and tumbling to the ground. Instead, David isolates himself from the outside world and spends his days napping, watching TV, and eating non-stop. He eats sweets, candy, and soda in between meals. Although David's case is severe, the average person can connect to his intents and his actions. Number 8. Ashley Dunbratcher Ashley Dunbratcher, star of TLC's My 600 Pound Life, is perhaps one of the show's most memorable characters, owing to her incredible weight loss journey. Bratcher began gaining weight at an early age, apparently because of a traumatic background. Bratcher's mother was supposedly addicted to drugs and was rarely seen in the meantime. Bratcher's babysitter's husband had been assaulting her sexually. Despite having been dealt a rough hand early in her life, Bratcher is now surrounded by the love and support of her family. Her spouse and she have been married for a long time. Bratcher appears to have been doing well since her first appearance on My 600 Pound Life thanks to some strong resolve and strength, as well as her undying commitment to her family. Many women struggle to maintain a healthy weight during and after pregnancy. Ashley Dunbratcher, on the other hand, shed 95 pounds after giving birth to Patrick. She was allegedly resolved not to abandon her son like her mother had abandoned her after giving birth, which pushed her to lose weight and get healthier. She knew she wouldn't live a long life on the path she was on, Bratcher and her son appeared to have a very close bond. Number 7. Francis Serrano Francis Serrano always had a weight problem, ever since he can remember, but that didn't stop him from becoming a professional martial artist and opening up his own martial arts school. You can see in the videos Francis training students. Francis weighed more than 500 pounds, and that's when he began his journey with martial arts. It was very frustrating at first, but his body would tell him to slow down. He finally decided to get a gastric bypass surgery. After one month, he recovered from surgery. But if he doesn't change his lifestyle, the surgery will not magically make him lose the weight. So it's up to Francis to make it happen by eating well, exercising, and being consistent. Number 6. Kirsten Perez The circumstances of Kirsten Perez's terrible past astounded TLC viewers. According to My 600 Pound Life, the reality star struggled not only with her weight at 612 pounds, but also with a lifelong addiction to substances ranging from acid to meth. Her addictions gradually took control of her life, and she began prostituting herself for drug money. Kirsten admitted to, in her own words, selling her body for anything she could get. Then Kirsten became a mother. She first gave birth to a daughter named Lexi. Then she gave birth to a son named Nako. Kirsten has recognized that she was unable to provide the lifestyle that her children deserve. Fortunately, Kirsten did not attempt to raise her children in these circumstances. Instead, she entrusted Lexi and Nako to her parents for at least a 10-year period. Kirsten became sober and moved back in with her parents and children around the time she started filming for My 600 Pound Life. To get to know her son Nako better, she even shared a bedroom with him. However, what was supposed to be a joyous family reunion turned sour. Kirsten's closeness to Nako escalated into a tumultuous relationship of deception, deceit, and enabling. She even pushed Nako to tell his grandmother lies so she could have more food bites. Kirsten was able to make significant progress in overcoming her addictions and other mental health issues in the end. She sought counseling and even tackled her traumatic history, which had followed her throughout her adult life. Kirsten had surgery to kickstart her weight loss journey. She even adhered to her diet plan so diligently that she was able to lose 170 pounds in the process. Number 5. Amber Rajdi 
Amber actually had battled her weight for most of her life. She'd been overweight as a child and had progressed to morbid obesity as an adult. Her weight had an impact on her quality of life. She was no longer self-sufficient and had to rely on others for even the most basic needs, such as personal cleanliness. Her parents realized they needed to act quickly to save their daughter's life. They hurried her to the doctor, who said she was in grave danger. She'd soon die because of her weight if she kept on going like this. Amber had gained an unhealthy 160 pounds by the time she was five years old. To put these figures in perspective, a five-year-old child should weigh around 39.5 pounds. Amber was severely obese by the age of 24. She weighed 657 pounds at this point, and there was no denying that the excess weight she was carrying was affecting her quality of life. Amber wouldn't live until her 30th birthday if she didn't act quickly, according to her doctor's prediction. Amber realized she needed professional help, so she enrolled in My 600 Pound Life. Amber was told by Dr. Nauzaradan that she needed gastric bypass surgery. Amber would have to shed 20 pounds to be eligible for the operation. She lost 17 pounds in three months. Even though the doctor had hoped for more weight loss, he decided to go forward with the surgery. Amber began to manage her nutrition with a renewed sense of confidence and motivation. Amber's procedure thankfully went off without a hitch. Despite the risks, Dr. Nauzaradan managed to complete the operation and Amber's body survived the shock of the procedure. Amber has shed 400 pounds in total since her gastric bypass surgery, which is an astounding achievement for anyone to accomplish in such a short period of time. She discovered the inner strength to take on and overcome a task, and she'd even managed to defeat herself at her own game. The young woman delved deep within herself and discovered the courage to fight and improve her life. Number 4. Donna Simpson Her supporters wanted her to grow as big as she could, and she swiftly rose to prominence in a strange fantasy fetish subculture that idolized the obese and ordered pizzas for her to eat. Donna Simpson's life, however, is changing. After her five-year engagement with fiancé Philip Goomba, 49, ended, the 600-pound mother of two relocated to Akron, Ohio. The 5-foot-4-inch woman has also moved away from the fantasy world, writing a blog about her health journey instead of eating videos. On her long journey to weight loss, Miss Simpson has already shed 85 pounds. She understood she was the fantasy of her viewers, who paid her to buy more food. They had their skinny spouses, two and a half children, and a picket fence, and she was becoming bigger and bigger. She has no intention of becoming a size 4 or thin mint. She simply wanted to be more active and normal. One man from Germany provided her a credit card with specific instructions to buy pizza, Chinese food, and other takeaways with his money for her to become as big as possible. He didn't even have to look at her. For him, just the fact that he was feeding her was enough of a delight. Miss Simpson had a website where guys could pay $19 a month to watch her eat, and she flew all over the world for events. She now intends to join a gym and begin participating in more activities to continue her journey to great health and wellness. Number 3. Paul Mason Paul Mason, 59, who weighed 900 pounds at his heaviest, relocated to the United States to be with his fiancée, Rebecca Mountain, who he met after undergoing a gastric bypass and losing nearly 300 pounds. But the couple soon divorced, and his grief drove him to binge eat once more, resulting in a weight gain of 500 pounds. He'd spend his days in his living room, lying in a reinforced bed watching TV. The house also included five-foot-wide doors so he wouldn't get stuck in the frame, as well as a reinforced toilet seat and a bath in his bathroom. By 2009, he was consuming 20,000 calories per day, which was eight times the average for a man and three family-sized takeaway dinners per evening. Doctors warned him that he needed a life-saving gastric bypass to reduce the size of his stomach to the size of an egg, which he had in 2010. Returning to his home country, he now lives on £71 per week universal credit and is attempting to get on the housing list and qualify for disability benefits, which is not immediately entitled to due to his long stay overseas. Paul claims he has given up a variety of fatty foods, including chocolate, sweets and bread, to show the NHS that he is deserving of the surgeries he requires. Number 2. Michael Hebranko Hefty Michael Hebranko is the world's best and worst dieter. 
having lost £900 and then regaining it all. After losing £1,120 and dropping to £196, the 56-year-old American was inducted into the Guinness Book of Records in 1990. But Michael, a food addict, chose to celebrate with a slap-up supper of four hot dogs and cheese-smothered french fries, setting himself on a downward slide back to his previous weight. Now he slimmed down once more and pledged to overhaul his lifestyle, ditching his glitzy crash diets. Following his world record, he disclosed how a food addiction caused him to balloon. Michael, a monstrous 1,120 pounds, began eating in secret and regained his weight over the next few years. Michael, who now weighs 560 pounds, claims that he has always been overweight. He was the overweight kid who no one wanted to pick for their sports teams at school. Michael had a heart attack and went into a coma before contracting gangrene because of an infection in the large folds of his stomach. Michael needed life-saving surgery to remove the mounds of fat, but he was lucky to make it off the operating table. Finally, six months later and many pounds lighter, he was released from the hospital and embarked on a significant diet and fitness regimen with the guidance of Richard Simmons. Michael finally relapsed. Finally, with a blood clot on his lungs, Michael was transported to the hospital, but the only way to get him out of the house was with a forklift truck. Doctors and therapists helped him lose nearly half his body weight, but the cycle began again as soon as he left the hospital. But now, rather than changing his diet, he's determined to modify his lifestyle. He considers himself the luckiest man alive because he is still alive to play with his grandchildren. He gives gratitude to God for whatever he has. He has a great wife, a large family, and numerous friends. Number 1. Diana Bunch Diana Bunch went on to become one of the most successful people in my 600-pound life's history. During her initial consultation with bariatric surgeon Dr. Yunan Nauzaradan, aka Dr. Now, it was revealed that the Seattle native also suffered from lymphedema, as well as open sores and blisters on her legs. The foundation of Diana's food addiction was revealed to be past trauma, and she disclosed that she'd been assaulted as a child during her time on the show. She used food as a comfort blanket as a child, and her food addiction became so severe she was discharged from the Air Force. Thankfully, Diana's presence on the show was a success, as she lost a staggering 265 pounds after undergoing successful gastric sleeve surgery. Diana continued to live her new healthy lifestyle after the cameras stopped rolling. Diana lost even more weight and reached her ideal weight of 195 pounds. Diana has shed a total of 425 pounds since starting her My 600 Pound Life quest, equating to a 68.5% reduction in her peak weight. She was the sixth most successful TLC reality show competitor of all time as of 2020. I feel for these people, even though many of them put themselves in these predicaments. I can't say one inspired me more than any other. Which one inspired you the most? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's our countdown of 15 heaviest individuals on the planet. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. That's it for now.